Hi, Tammy C. Walker here. Today I want to talk about how to stop stressing over every detail of your life. I'm a life coach, therapist, social worker. Let's go. This one is a hot topic um, because I am a therapist. I talk to a lot of women and some men, but I noticed that the women stress so bad when things don't go as planned. And this is a surefire way to become depressed because how many things don't go as planned? Think about it. Really think about your life. And will you tell me that everything you planned out went verbatim on the date you said you were going to close on your house, the date you said you were going to get married, the date you said your baby, the doctor said your baby was due. Did everything go perfect? Of course not, because this is life. Wouldn't life be a bore if everything you set out to do went perfectly every time? It wouldn't even give you anything to, you know, stress over or fret over. You'd just be bored because everything you already know how everything's going to go. It's, um, this is a very common thing that women do. Like, for an example, if they want to have a baby and they're 37, they freak out. They really do. And they're like, I wanted to have a baby. And it's almost like they're saying, at 38, I'm going to die. Pretty much that's what they're saying because, you know, with life, we have to allow it to come to us. Stop trying to force a size 8 shoe. I'm sorry. Yeah, on a size a size 10 foot. It's just not going to work. Life is about experiences. And when you're in, when this involves a second person, it's their free will. They can wake up and do a stretch. Oh, I just thought today I don't want to be married anymore. And people do this. I I know true stories that I know of these people where someone has literally woke up, did a stretch and said I don't want to be married anymore. And the thing is, it's their prerogative to do this. As hurtful as it is, it happens. And you have to be able to recover from this crappy crap. Because to me, that's crappy crap that someone would just dog someone out like that and just wake up and say they don't want to be there. It's crap. But it's their prerogative. It's free will. And we don't have to be anywhere we don't want to be. And when it, we're the one that it happens to, we have to learn how to recover from these selfish acts, you know. Same with wanting to have a baby. It's a desire that God gave you. Nine times out of ten, it's going to come to pass. It may not come when you want it to. It may not come at age 37, but it may come maybe at 41. And I know that seems older but so what? If that's the way it's going to go, that's how it's going to go. You still get your baby. Having a baby, although I don't have kids, <laughs> I have plenty of nieces and nephews and plenty of friends with kids and family members. Think about having a baby. It's a big responsibility. The baby runs the house. You wake up when he or she wakes up. You can't just um, run to work. You have to drop the baby off somewhere. You're almost scared to leave your baby with people these days in 2019. It's a lot of anxiety and worry comes with being a parent. I'm not saying don't do it because it's a blessing. It's a beautiful thing. But maybe if it's not happening now, maybe you need to work more on you or allow it to come to you. Oh, but Tammy, I wanted to get married. I don't even have a prospect. So what? It's it's freaking spring. I, I live outside of Chicago. It's springtime here. Spring means love. You can walk out your house tomorrow and meet the lady or man of your dreams. Stop damning yourself to damnation because these things are not going according to your calendar and live life. Volunteer. Go to the zoo. Go for a walk. Look at me. I'm off today. I took a vacation day. I'm going to go get a pedicure. I'm going to wash my car and go walk at the pond. It's a pond near my house with ducks. And I just like sitting there and watching the water just wave by. You know, um, this is what life is all about. Season the moment and enjoying yourself. Buy your airplane ticket. Go, go to Vegas. Go to Fort Lauderdale. Go to Atlanta or you know these tropical places go do something fun stop sitting around waiting on your relationship to come or waiting on a baby I mean these things are coming for you I, I promise you I promise you I was 36 years old 5 739 pounds 
Maybe that's thick to some people, but I was pretty thin. I wore a size four or five. Um, no health issues whatsoever. I feel a lump in my breast at 36 years old in 2007. I'm in chemo. I'm having radiation. I'm having surgeries. It scared me to death. I didn't know if I was going to live or die. I didn't feel like I was going to die. But when you have cancer, let's just be frank. We don't know if that thing is going to spread and jump around, you know. Thanks be to God. I had it twice, 2012 again. I'm here in front of you. I'll be 49 years old in September. So I'm a testament that things are not going to go as planned. I never planned to have cancer. I got married in 1999. Sorry, 93. Got divorced in 99. It's 2019. I thought by now I would. I thought I was going to get married 2001, 23. It's 2019. I'm not even remarried. But it's okay. It's okay. I'm 48. I feel great. I'm. I'm. I mean, in the best shape. I could lose some weight, a little bit of weight, but I'm in great shape. I play tennis. You know, I have stamina for a tennis court, so that definitely says I'm in decent shape. But this is not the life I really envision. But it's okay because things are still going really good for me. I have a, a job in HR. I'm a life coach, therapist, and a social worker. I do that too. Um, I have a beautiful family that loves me. I have beautiful nieces and nephews. Um, I have great friends. Um, people are calling me right now for other business opportunities. So I feel like a very fortunate lady to even be in the land of the living. At 45, I went back to school, got my master's degree in social work. I graduated in, at age 32 with my BA in business. I swore not to go back to college. I just wasn't interested. After having breast cancer, becoming a life coach, I went and got my master's degree. I was 45 when I signed up. Don't beat yourself up over this, not having a baby at a certain age, not being married by a certain age. Relax. Go travel. Just be free like a butterfly and watch watch how this stuff start coming to you. You're going to be amazed. You'll be like, she was right. Because when you're not focusing on an outcome, life is going to bring you beautiful things. The universe, whatever you believe in. I'm a Christian. I believe in God. But I also believe in the universe. You know, I believe that all this stuff works together. And if you believe, you shall receive. If you believe you shall receive stop damning yourself to damnation over this age stuff i cannot say how frustrating this is because you're not doing nothing but creating anxiety that don't even need to be there fix yourself up you're a beautiful lady you're a handsome young man keep your stuff groomed your hair groomed your your makeup if you wear makeup if you're natural whatever you do have your stuff in mint condition work on you go Take a class, learn a new language, learn to cook. I mean, there's so much stuff you can do. I live alone. I think sometimes people be like, oh, isn't it boring? Listen here. I have to mop my floors, vacuum. Every bill come to this house, Tammy has to pay. I'm working on a book. I have to get my license. Um, I like playoff basketball, so I've been watching that. I love going for long walks. I have a gym membership. I have family, friends. It's not enough hours in the day for me. I work two jobs. I'm a therapist and a social worker on Saturday, Sunday, and a couple of evenings, and I work a job. I'm so busy. I don't even have time for boredom. You know, I just want to motivate you and encourage you today. Mark my words now. Leave some comments. Um, let me know what you think, but I want you to let go and stop stressing when things don't go according to your timetable it's going to be okay it's going to even be better than what you thought mark my words subscribe like comment if you like just trust me on this one okay thank you so much tammy c walker enjoy your day bye